Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I am actually doing a q and I have never done one of these before because I didn't think that people actually cared about me. But I put up a Instagram story on both of my Instagram accounts, on my spam account and my normal account, for you guys to ask me some questions um, about me or about my life and, you know, just random shit. So I got a few questions and I thought just to change it up a little bit, I wanted to show you guys a little bit more of my personality and just me and, you know, just a sit down video instead of just makeup and hauls and, you know, random stuff. So I wanted to change it up and I thought, yeah, that I would do this today. I'm wearing my favorite earrings. These are my potato head earrings. I love them so much. They're going to annoy me so much while I edit this video, but I don't Anyway, I've got some questions on my phone, so I'm just going to start on answering them for you guys. Number one, where do you want to travel to most in the world? I've actually been quite a few places, um, but my bucket list of places to travel at the moment is definitely Peru and Machu Picchu. I am hopefully going next year. I'm starting to, you know, plan it. I want to go with my mom and my sister. So that's definitely on my bucket list before they shut it down in 2020. Um, another place I really want to visit in the next few years is um, Europe. I want to do like Switzerland and Portugal and Spain and um, Italy. I really want to do Europe, maybe in a Kentucky in a few years um, once I'm a little bit older. I want to do it by myself though because I feel like you have to do Kentucky by yourself. I feel like you meet so many new people. Um, another place that I really want to travel to is Japan and I am going to Japan at the end of this year with Corey. Um, I do want to do some more Asian countries um, like Middle Eastern countries. I want to do Thailand. I want to do Bali. I would love to go to Bora Bora and the Maldives, 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 fuck if I know, um, but yeah, there's so many places that I want to travel to and I am scared that I'm not going to have enough time in my life, which is stupid because I'm only 19, but I'm like stressing, I want to do it all like now. Number two, what goals do you have for this year? Um, at the start of the year, I did actually write down a whole heap of goals, but they've like changed now, but I really want to be uploading at least one to two videos a week on YouTube. I... That's like one of my biggest goals this year is just to, you know, focus on YouTube. I want to be uploading like one photo on Instagram, hopefully grow my YouTube channel and Instagram by a few hundred. It's a bit out there, but I want to get to like 500 subscribers by the end of the year on my YouTube channel and hopefully like maybe like 2,000 followers on my Instagram. I know I shouldn't really care about the numbers, but I feel like the more effort I put in, the better exposure I'm going to get. So I feel like if I put in the work now, I'll you know, reach my goals by the end of the year. Another goal is to have a few grand saved. I am the worst saver. I also have a few holidays that I want to go on this year, so it's going to be a struggle for me to save money and, you know, spend money and everything. Another goal for me is to continue going to the gym at least three times a week and eating healthier, no snacking. I'm the worst person for snacking ever. Um, I'm doing an eight-week challenge at the moment and it's so freaking hard to not snack. Like, it's really, really hard. Um, and just, you know, healthier options, not necessarily like dieting, if you say. And number three, what festivals do you want to hit up this year? Um, since I'm going to Japan at the end of the year, I really need to cut down on the festivals that I'm going to go to. My number one is I want to do Splendor again. I've done Splendor the last two years and I love it. I love the vibe. It's just... Splendor is my happy place and I want to do Big Pineapple. On the weekend I recently did Laneway and it was literally one of my favourite festivals ever. I loved everything about it. It was so, so good. I think I'm only going to stick to two more this year um, because I'm going to get that savings up. i got to get to Japan. I don't know how well that's going to go for now. But yeah, um, Splendor and Pineapple. I love the vibe there so hopefully I'll go to those ones this year. Depending on the lineup though. Oh, and Corey asked me, why is your boyfriend so good looking? You're not, huh? Don't flatter yourself, Corey. Number five, I am so proud of you. If you have a favorite band of all time, who would it be? My favorite band of all time would definitely have to be the Wombats. 
I literally have loved them for so many years. Me and my sister, when we were younger, used to listen to the Triple J Hottest 100s on like CD. That's what the music on our iPods were. And we used to know every single song to all the Wombat songs. Um, it just brings back so many memories. Every time I see them live, they're just so breathtaking and amazing. I literally come home with no voice. Yeah, that's definitely my favorite band of all time. Of course, there are others that I've like loved over the last few years, but the Wombats has, you know, been through thick and thin. I've loved them for like freaking over 10 years and that sounds crazy because I'm only 19, but literally the best band ever, the Wombats. And they're so amazing live. Like I will never get sick of a live set from them. Number six, where do you look for festival outfits? Yours are literally my inspo. Thank you. Um, I don't know where I look for it. It just is like what I'm feeling. I follow a lot of like people who go to lots of festivals on Instagram. I get most of my inspiration from M Davies, um, a few other like influencers, like YouTube influencers, like Lily Brown, Shani Grumman. Like it honestly just depends like what type of festival has happened, what type of festival is coming up is depending what I will like look for. Um, my main um, websites that I do look on are Her Pony. I love Her Pony so much. They are a little bit on the pricier side, but I think the outfits are so cute. I feel like they go with every single festival. You can either like dress them up or you can like dress them down um, and keep them really simple. Coco Fields is a really nice one as well. Cocoon Clothing, not as much anymore. Um, I really like Dolls Kill um, if I'm looking for like more grungy festival. Um, Tibbs and Bones as well is an Australian based company. They're based in Melbourne, um, which is like Dolls Kill, but in Australia. Um, another like grungy or like really out there, like colorful festivals. Um, looks, I like look there. Where else? I used to have like a full list on my phone of like amazing brands, but I don't have that anymore because I got a new phone and I lost that. Blah blah blah. It was, it's gone now. Also, Beginning Boutique and Princess Polly are also really, really good and they have really quick shipping. So if you leave something to the last minute, I just like jump on there, get them in like two or three days, and I'm done. Like, and I feel like you can really dress that stuff up or you can dress it down. They have so much variety. Um, there's so many places. Like, it just depends what I'm looking for. Laneway on the weekend wasn't really, like, a grungy festival for me. So I just went with something, you know, out there, colourful. I always like to go colours or black. What's your fave food? Um, olives. I fucking love olives so much. If you know me, I could eat olives out of the jar. I really like sushi as well. Sushi is, like, amazing. I love Mexican food. Um, honestly, I love every food. I am like a foodaholic and no shame about it. <laughs> Number eight, what's the funniest memory you have of yourself? Um, pretty much every time I'm drunk, I just fuck myself up. Funniest memory I have of myself is actually one that just passed like two weekends ago. I got very, very drunk on Hottest 100 Day. We had a party at a mate's house and I pretty much body slammed a table and broke it and don't really remember it happening but there's videos and evidence of me doing it so if you haven't seen it on my spam account you should definitely check it out because it's pretty funny who is your biggest inspiration um in regards to what like beauty like youtube like life like outfits there's so many different people yeah i don't really know i don't really have like one person or like one type of thing that's like my biggest inspiration honestly probably instagram and like people who are like up there on instagram are like my inspiration i look up to them so much how long have you been practicing your makeup for it's always so flawless i have literally been doing my makeup and had a passion for makeup for literally like five or six years. I used to start watching YouTube in like grade eight or nine. I remember when Shiny Groom was like a baby, like she was like in grade 12 or something and I used to watch her and like look up to her so much. Um, but yeah, that's when I first started like getting into makeup and like buying makeup and realizing that I wasn't that great at makeup and needed to practice more. I used to literally like every night practice my makeup and apply foundation, do eyeshadow, do my eyebrows, like everything. I'm filming a YouTube video. Now? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, literally, I would say no to going out with friends so I could stay at home and do my makeup. Yeah, no shame. I don't really practice that much anymore just because I'm so freaking busy, but I guess like doing my makeup for YouTube. Every time I do it, I get a little bit better, hopefully. But I'm definitely not amazing at makeup. There's people that live in my area that are so much better than me. Like, I look up to them and I'm they probably don't even realize it, but yeah. <laughs> The next question is, how much do you reckon you've spent on makeup? A lot. Too much. I have spent way too much money on makeup. I would probably say 
like in the thousands, like five thousand, maybe like five to ten thousand dollars on makeup. I have a full set of drawers, table of my makeup, like probably a thousand brushes, probably a thousand dollars worth of freaking eyeshadow palettes on my freaking desk right now. Um, it's ridiculous how much I spend on makeup and ridiculous how much makeup costs. As well but I will never change it for the world how much I've spent on makeup it is honestly my biggest passion ever you just grow your collection like some of these things I have since I you know first started doing my makeup and I should probably throw out but I'm gonna keep them for like sentimental reasons another question is how many foundations do you have a lot as well too many for the average person no but honestly I have way too many foundations for like an actual normal person but I love foundations and I'm not gonna stop buying them. Just counted how many foundations I have and I have 22. So, that's great, too many. Second last question is, what are your plans for Valentine's Day? I don't really know, me and Corey aren't really that romantic for like Valentine's Day or anything. Um, we were gonna go to this gig, Arno Faraji and um, Kwame maybe, but we're probably not gonna go to that because we need to save being good adults like we are. What are your plans for Valentine's Day? Last question, best foundation you've ever used? Um, if you had to ask me this maybe like three months ago, I would have said Nashia Glow. That's like my all time favorite foundation. I love the finish, I love the coverage, I love the shades that I have. Um, I think it's a beautiful foundation on my skin. But recently my favorite foundation that's even better than that is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the like a longer bottle. I have been loving it. I love the coverage, the finish. It's just even better than Nashi Glow. Like I still love Nashi Glow, but this one's a bit better because my skin has changed since, you know, I was like younger, even though I'm still pretty young. I do rather a bit of like a more fuller coverage now. Um, yeah, NARS, they're literally my favorite foundation brand. So, so, so good okay so that is all of the questions that i have to answer i'm surprised that i got that many because honestly not many people give a fuck about me <laughs> no but thank you guys who actually sent me questions it was really fun answering them i do love watching question and answer videos but i didn't think that i would have that many to answer but i hope that's enough it might be short who even cares this makeup look will also be up maybe before or after this video i don't know oh and by the way my hand is still fucked that was also a coincidence from the table smashing so i hope you guys enjoyed this chatty video not related to your makeup or anything i love you guys so much thanks for watching again see you later alligator <laughs> bye